Hi everybody, it is Carla the Bubble Lush and Hannah and it is Sunday evening Yeah, at like 6 o'clock and Hannah is in her PJs. Uh, it's funny because you guys on Facebook always notice but like she's in baby legs. Hi, that was her attempt at a baby kiss. Yeah, so Hannah Lots of people want to know how cloth diapering is going. Yeah. Let's start at the beginning. So, Hannah's been laughing a lot today. Okay, so Hannah came home from the hospital when she was like four or five days old, and her umbilical cord um, stump thing fell off when she was 13 days old, I think. Yeah, so for those nine days at home, we just did disposables and I'm glad I did because frankly uh, recovering from the labor I had and the delivery the c-section delivery I had took a lot out of me and um, being at the hospital for a week when I came home I hadn't slept for more than like a two-hour chunk in a week so I was just exhausted and the last thing I wanted to do was be doing laundry so hopefully for the next baby we will try to attempt newborn size cloth diapering but I knew that Hannah was going to be a big girl you know they anticipated that she was going to be like 12 pounds when she was born so I didn't think that she would fit in you know a newborn size diaper for very long and I was right um, her umbilical cord fell off at 13 days and 14 days old so two weeks that Sunday we put her in her We put her in her first cloth diaper, which was a flip. Let's see if I can find one. Where's Mama's flips? There. It was a flip, but only it was uh, pink, and I have a picture of it on my Facebook. I did a little photo shirt of, shoot of her, like, you know, naked, but with the cloth diaper on. So cute. Mm. So I found that the flips come with... Um, Let's see, they come with two choices of inserts. They come with a stay dry insert and an organic cotton prefold insert. And the organic cotton prefold was just way too big and bulky on her, but the stay dry insert is very um, slim fitting on, what were you then? Like a nine and a half pound baby. Uh, was pretty slim fitting, it wasn't all that bulky. So we used the flips a lot and then we sized all of the fuzzy buns because you have to set the elastic to match, you know, the thighs and the waist and <laughs> that you need with the snaps. It's all kind of, they all kind of work together, right? There's a lot of different customization options with the fuzzy bun. Uh, because it doesn't have the snap front rise, it adjusts with elastic. Yeah! Hannah nowadays has bigger thighs and actually a really tiny waist. And not a lot of things fit her around the waist, but she has, she has my thighs. So, Fuzzy Buns has actually been a great choice for us because of that custom customization option and the hip snap. And I know you guys probably hear about the hip snap but don't really know what it is. Hi. Mwah. The hip snap. Let's open. Okay. So the hip snap is these four snaps right down here. And Hannah, honestly, is usually on the biggest one, on the first one, which gives the biggest thigh opening. It basically, the hip snap restricts how big the thigh is or how small it can get actually. And so if you do it on the smallest hip snap, I mean, you're looking at a very tiny thigh. And that's why newborns and tiny, tiny babies can wear these. Can you chew on mom's hair again? Oh, gross. Gross. <coughs> she likes to cough right in my face. So, the fuzzy buns we use a lot. I have probably 14 of them. Love them. Um, they are definitely just kind of my go-to diaper. Yeah, is that one of your laughs? Are you trying that one out? So, um, okay, so we do a lot of fuzzy buns. Then let's look at the Velcro diapers. Uh, my husband really likes Velcro. For overnight. Yes, because he usually, uh, <laughs> when she starts crying at like 2.30, I usually have Chris go get her, change her diaper, and bring her to me. 
he, and he is fabulous and he does it and I really appreciate it. Hi! Boom! Hey, can we not? You just ate. Let's not nurse right now. I know, you need a toy then, huh? <gasps> Boom! Boom! Right there! Yeah, mama's prepared. Okay, so as far as elastic diapers go, I have um, Bum Genius 3.0, which is, this is also, Bum Genius 4.0, and a Kawaii. The Kawaii I received free um, from Kelly's Closet. Sometimes they do, like, you buy $29, you buy $29 worth of things and we'll give you a free one size diaper. So this was my free one size. It's not my favorite. I don't really know why though. And then I also have um, some Rumparoos, which are similar, I think, to like, ugh, well, they're similar, I suppose. The closest thing they would be is a Bum Genius with snaps. It's probably the closest to Rumparoos. But I like the Rumparoos that they have the inner gusset. Um, and if you want to know more about this, just put a comment below and I'll do a video on the individual diaper or point you in the direction of a review on the cloth diaper channel. But they have an inner gusset right here. It really keeps in the poop. And they fit kind of low rise. Anyways, so those are the pocket diapers that I like. Let's show them the pocket diapers Mom likes. Fuzzy Bun, Rumparoos, and Bum Genius. Right? Am I missing anything? No. So those are the pocket diapers. I have, you know, quite a few of them. I've got, uh, la, 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 la. my stash is three Bum Genius, probably 14 Fuzzy Buns, six Rumparoos, counting the ones that I'm getting. Oh, maybe seven. Seven Rumparoos. So those are, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, so those are my pocket diapers and I have them, hold on one second, and I have those all in a drawer by themselves. Now in the drawer below that are all the, are all, the, are all the hybrid diapers, which are the flips. Yeah, flips. Yeah, G diapers. Um, I have some, some covers, some wraps, and a cono bum. And um, the Econo Bum and the flips are very similar. I like the Econo Bum insert. I don't know if I have. This is not one of them. Whatever. Anyway, my mom really likes the hybrid style diapers, and Chris and I really like the pocket style diapers, which is why we're keeping them all. And you know, on her days, she just uses the uh, flips. And the reason why she likes them is that. When she changes the diaper, she can just take out this, get a new liner, and reuse the shell. So, I don't know, she just likes that. I think it reminds her of the days of like cloth diapers and plastic pants and changing me, and now she's changing my baby. Isn't that right? So, as far as how cloth diapering has gone, it's been really great. Um, the cost, ow, the cost savings has been really nice, and the reason why it's been nice is that you're so loud, sweetie pie. Is that we bought most of the diapers when we were pregnant? Yeah. So you know we we already have them, so it's not like a constant weekly thing where we're paying them off, which is great. Um, the problem that we've had with cloth diapering so far is that Hannah um, has developed a yeast rash. And this is her second one. She had her first one in, in like December, I think. And it took me forever to figure out what kind of, what was causing the rash because I had switched detergents and I was um, like trying to work on my washing routine to figure out what works for my water and my washing machines and my stash my detergent. Mwah! Arr! Ooh, that was a big burp. Ow, don't pull my, don't eat my, oh, gross, 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 I just washed my hair. Gross. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so she has developed
failed her second yeast rash, which is so annoying. It's so annoying because that means I have to wash all of my diapers. And that's, I have a lot of diapers. That's the downside of having a lot of diapers. I gotta wash them all. And I gotta kill the yeast. I think she's teething. I have to kill the yeast in all the diapers. And in the meantime, she has to be in disposables. And I say has to. I'm sure, ooh, slobber. I'm sure there's some way that she can continue to wear cloth diapers and I can. You're like losing it. I don't want to edit this. <laughs> I don't want to edit this. I want to spend time with you. Yeah. Um, fine, fine. Just chew on my hair. Um, what was I saying? I'm sure there's a way where she can continue to wear cloth diapers and I could use the, uh, basically it's like Lotrimin AF, what you use for like jock itch and athlete's foot, it's so gross. Um, and that's what we use to cure the, the rash. Problem with using the cloth diapers while treating the yeast infection is if the cloth diapers have the yeast in it, then you're just reintroducing them over and over again. So what we do when we have a yeast infection is we switch to disposables and I've been using the Huggies free and clear so that I feel at least a little bit better about it. But it sucks to have to go out and buy disposable diapers when you have all these cloth diapers to use. It sucks having to um, wash all of them, cross your fingers that you got all the yeast out, put them back on her, and then discover that, oh, no, it's back. And we have to rewash everything again and use some different thing. So if you guys have uh, an idea for how to get yeast out of your diapers, please, please let me know. She doesn't have any like thrush symptoms. I don't have any thrush or yeast symptoms. So I don't know how it's happening. Yeah. But that has been the pain in my butt. Since we started on solid food, she has, <laughs> she's got more like solid poop. And that has been awesome because it's super easy to clean. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> She's a little raw. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is for me to get into the shower and wash my hair? And I washed it. Look, I didn't curl it or make it nice, but it's clean. Not anymore. Um, anyway, I keep losing what I'm saying, sweetie. I'm sorry, this is such a weird update. Oh, poop! Yes. <laughs> we can use the diaper sprayer and get the solid poop off really, really easily. And it, it um, the diaper sprayer gets the diapers clean. And then, you know, I throw them in the dry pail and um, they're, they're awesome. There's really minimal stink as compared to when it was just breastfed poop and it was just everywhere and you could use 50 gallons of water through that diaper sprayer and it would not come out and um it would come out in the wash obviously but like for some reason you just could not get the breastfed poop out of that diaper with the diaper sprayer yeah i'm talking about your poop in 16 years you're gonna watch this video and be like mom why are you talking about my poop why are you letting all these people know about this is what it is. It is what it is, so you can't. But anyways, cloth diapering is going really well. Except for the whole yeast thing, which is annoying. It just, it just cropped up like two days ago, so. I, I treated it with the Lotrimin yesterday and today, and it's pretty much cleared up the rash, so I know that's what it is. So now I know that I need to take care of all my diapers. So please, 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 leave your yeast suggestions below. <laughs> that sounds gross, but um, I've done like tons of Google searches and, and everyone's like try this try that try this try that But if you know what works, please let me know. Give me some tips and Yeah, um, you know, we we just throw a cloth diaper in the diaper bag and go I mean, it's not been difficult at all if you want to know um, ugh, I don't even know what this looks like. That's awesome. If you want to know what my uh, favorite <laughs> Okay, okay. This is gonna keep you quiet. You can continue to chew on my hair. I will let you. I will let you. 
of my stash, the best, the award for like the best all around diaper, uh, hands down is Fuzzy Buns. My husband's favorite nighttime diaper is the Bum Genius 4.0. My favorite overnight diaper is the Rumparoos because it has a great doubler. And my mom's favorite diaper, I would have to say, is the Flip. Um, cause she seems to like all the different kinds of inserts with it. She likes to play around with all the different insert options because I have different brands and stuff. So I think that's about it. I, I mean, if you have any real like questions that I, I guess I didn't touch on, let me know. But I'm assuming that the people that wanted a cloth diaper update just want to know how it was going and it's going fine um, until you have to deal with a rash and then that sucks. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ow. Don't pull from this side. Okay. Sorry I was so long winded. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Hannah going crazy. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Let's get you closer. <laughs> Who is that? Her black eyes almost gone. <laughs> yeah, you fought the crib and the crib won. Yeah. Yeah. Do we look alike? No, you look just like your daddy, don't you? Yeah. Bye, guys.